Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about the Superman family. And the reason why I want to talk about the Superman family is because the dawn of DC stupidity continues yet again. And guess what? Guess what? What does Superboy, Connor Kent, Supergirl, and Power Girl all have in common? Guess. If you said they're having they're having um they're having a crisis event of they don't know um, where they belong in the Superman family. Correcto mundo, because that is what we're about to do again with fucking Supergirl. So get this, Supergirl is about to have a special Supergirl special number one where she's dealing with the fact that now that they're now that Power Girl um has made her way back to the main continuity of DC or whatever and stuff like that. There's two blondes and stuff like that. And everybody knows that Power Girl is another Supergirl from another Earth. And Kara feels like she's left out and she um, needs to find a place in the world and stuff like that. Didn't we just do this shit with Power Girl? Didn't we just do this shit with Superboy, Connor and Kent? How many times are we going to keep doing this same fucking story line? How many fucking times, DC? This shit is getting tiring. We don't need another fucking special where Supergirl needs to figure out herself. You did that shit with Woman of Tomorrow. You did that shit with her post DC Rebirth comic book. You did that shit with her Rebirth costume. I mean, um, well, no, not her Rebirth run. Her Rebirth run was was a little bit more different. Um, her New Fifty Two run. Like y'all keep doing this shit with Supergirl. This is getting fucking tiring. And the same shit with Power Girl. You bring the bitch back. The independent, older, wiser Power um, Supergirl. And was like, I don't know where I belong in the place of the Superman family or whatever. Stuff like that. I don't know how to be me because of all of the Kryptonians and all that kind of nonsense. And I don't feel like I'm part of the family and all that crap. And I'm like, oh, here the fuck we go again with this shit. As if we haven't had um, Power Girl stories already revolve around that and her finishing that shit up like this stuff was already done and the same thing with Connor Kid. Superboy Man of Tomorrow was literally a redux of Superboy comic book run in the 90s where he already dis oh yeah lord have mercy 30 years ago and y'all still doing this same shit with all three of these characters as if y'all forgot what makes them individual first off Get the fuck it out of that damn Superman costume bullshit. Everybody don't need to be wearing jackets representing the um the um the House of L. First off, because they've already done this before. If you guys have read the new um the Superman New Krypton era, where Superman um left left Earth for Krypton, and they had the Superman family there. The Superman family was in charge, and they left them there. They didn't have to wear. Oh, look, we're all going to wear a jacket costume that shows that we're all part of the Superman family. <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody asks for that shit. Put their asses back in Superman, in super, um, in superhero costumes. Power Girl needs to have her iconic um, outfit on, period. She doesn't wear a symbol for a reason because she didn't want to be tied to being just known as Superman's cousin. And she had that successfully well. And give her back her name, Karen Starr, and in charge of Karen Industries. Do do the, do that shit for me. Do that shit for me. That's what you, that's what the fuck you can do for me with that one. Cause it don't make no sense what the fuck Power Girl doing right now in her own comic book. Because she's completely different in Justice Society of America, where she's already that Power Girl that we want. Except for now they change her costume to that ugly ass costume. Don't nobody want to see her in pants and stuff like that. And especially when they did put her in pants, um, at least they made sure that her assets were still showing. They don't even do that. I ain't never seen somebody who who have a triple D cup go down to a maybe a slight B cup. Like what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Supergirl, pub pull her ass back in the skirt. She don't look good with pants 
or did y'all not learn y'all lesson from CW Supergirl? Like the ratings, like what little ratings Supergirl had literally plummeted when people saw her in them pants. And I understand Melissa, Melissa was, um, Melissa Benoist was cold because in Vancouver. Well, guess what? Don't film in fucking Vancouver for a tax break. How about that? Film, go back to fucking California or go back to a sunny state or something like that. But to change the costume around because of the actress, eh, I'm, I'm sorry. You better pretend like you cold. You, I mean, you better pretend like you warm or something like that. I, I don't know what to tell you. I want, I want the costumes to look like the costumes. It don't make no sense that they all, they all looking like a militant instead. I don't need that for the Superman, the Superman family. Honestly, what made the Superman family stick out more than the Batman family is, yes, they are super, they all related to the Superman in some kind of form or fashion, but they all were different, unique. Their stories were completely different. When you pick up a Superboy comic book, it is completely different than Superman. It is definitely different. When you pick up a Supergirl cost, I mean, um, book, it's completely different. The same thing with Power Girl. These books were different. These characters were different. Connor, get his fucking ass up out of the 90s costume. Give him back his muscle mass, which that don't make no damn sense. How, do, how the fuck you lose muscle mass? When in the, in the Suicide Squad one, there was a clone of the actual Superboy right there in his um in his 2000 costume where he he was massive. So how the fuck Connor Kent lose all that mass? You know what I'm saying? It does, that's that's not that's not realistic. That's not realistic. Give Connor back his muscles, put him back in that fucking t-shirt and jeans because that's what that's what that's what he wanted to do. He, he actually decided that he wanted to get away from the the um the superhero costume but he still wanted to honor superman by wearing the superboy t-shirt that's his thing that's what he's known for so putting him back in his 90s look doesn't really do much especially when the entire superman family is dressed like him put supergirl back in her skirt preferably the one that michael turner did yeah, yeah, the Michael Turner costume that he created, the legendary Michael Turner, you know, rest in peace, where he had created the um, the all blue um, skirt, the midriff, where you you know her stomach was showing, and she had the she had that cute blue blue skirt, red high heel boots, and long long red cape. Oh God, that that costume is so perfect. That costume is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Do that. You know what I mean? That's what that's what you need to go back to. That's the shit you need to go back to. Power Girl, you come, come on now. Y'all know y'all know what the fuck. Y'all know what the fuck we we doing. Y'all know Power Girl has an iconic costume. Like let's stop let's stop playing the yo-yo. You know what the hell her damn costume is. You know what costume Power Girl go for. Y'all know that she's supposed to have the boob window. So let's stop playing these goddamn games. You know what I'm saying? But to have them do the same storyline over and over again. It's getting kind of fucking tiring. And it needs to fucking stop. It really do need to stop. You know? And I'm over it. I'm sick of it. And I know people are sick of it. But let, let, let's do something different. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.